Hi, my name is Brian Kennedy and today we are at the ASK Nakuru Showground. With the potential of producing 8.8 .8 billion milk cells per year, Nakuru County is conferred with high capacity livestock. However, have farmers registered their livestock? And if no, why should they do it? Meet Monika Onyango from Kenya Livestock Breeders Association as she takes you through this question. I'm Monika Onyango, working with the Kenya Livestock Breeders Association. We are situated here in Nakuru Showground along the Nakuru Medical Road uh, Street. Our offices uh, is an organization dealing with the registration of livestock. We register both the dairy and the beef animals, also the small animals like the sheep, the goat, and the pigs inclusive. Registration is a process where it's done to any farmer from any part of the world. We deal with the, both local breeders and international breeders as well. E.g. Uganda, TZ. We even sell our anim animals outside the country. How is registration done? The process is very simple. When a farmer uh, found any information more about us, and this can be sourced from one, SK shows like the one we are in today, you can tell about us. All the shows about the all the shows in the country, like for example, today we are in a cool show, we have got the Nairobi show, the Elder show, all over the country. So we send our field officers there to those shows so that they can meet farmers from different uh, parts of Kenya and even outside of Kenya to get more information so that when they do this, we come back and then we'll uh, visit these farmers and their farms. We collect data, animal data. After the collection of the data, uh, these officers bring us back to the data to the office level. Uh, we are working on a program called Mr. Program. We feed this data into the program and for the dairy animals, for example, the Frisians, the Jazzes, the Gazes, the Ajas, those are dairy animals. We take their data, daily milk recording sheets on a monthly basis, we record in our database, and then by the end of the lactation, we award this clear by what is called a registration certificate. There are various of them on top of my table here. There's the milk production certificate here with me. There is the beef certificate with me at Papi Nob. And we have got different sources of information with us. We've got our produce here around here on the table. You can see them here. We have got our milk production certificates and the registration forms for the beef are here. This is red, pink, pepper is registration forms along us here. There are two ways of uh, getting to us for more information about our breeding. We are advising our farmers to come out from uh, just animal keepers to be breeders, animal breeders. And you can only be sure of this animal when you know our animal you bred. To do this animal, this cow is born here, this calf is born here. You breed it and give it values in terms of feeding, in terms of maintenance, so that it becomes a good animal that produces good uh, tons and kgs of milk. Why should you register? It's good to have a documented proof with you. Documented proof is the certificate. Like when one comes to a farm and say, I want to buy this animal. The tailor 250, 200, 3. Then, if you even I find that why are you still selling expensive, I will tell him, okay, I have input on this animal. I've maintained it, I've given it well treatment, I've fed it well, and it produces this trans of milk in allocation. And I will prove that by this document here. The same matter with the abdominal, it is 450 trans in a year. Now, if there's any certain proof, documented proof somewhere, I will not, you not believe me, is it? So that's why we tell our farmers to have this um, enterprise being public and being 
documentary is only a few hey, feature free. To keep record of these animals. Like in the future, in the future, the time to come, to our, our minds are limited. So it's good to keep record. We emphasize on record keeping so that we can monitor for the generation. We do this in Mama Naitwa Jen. Mama Yaka Nikwa Naitwa Nani. Baba Yaka. He was as a generation yeah. proof must be there. But you cannot do it on a, on, it a, a, on a verbal issue. Yeah. We should put it somewhere and document it so that we can take this paper and go through it. Let's do ah, Mama Yaka Nikwa Nani. I want to Zazi, now I want to Zazi. Third generation, fourth generation, you'll be able to know. And with the production level, you'll be certain of the animal you are buying from a neighbor, from a friend. Because when you don't know the production level, then you're not sure what you are buying, and it's for your enterprise, it's for your business. So, I'm not sure if I'm not satisfied. There's something to prove. So, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to with us so that they can get information. We have our field officers with us who go around the country, in our offices, go meet this farmer, tell them about our offices, educate the farmers on what they should do, defeat our farmers on feeding programs, educate our farmers on maintenance of this animal in the farm, so that they can uh, go on well, they can manage their business well. We have got our boat, you see, and that will uh, find more about us, about our offices, which we have are uh, giving out and they are to be listed now to the farmers who are coming here to our offices. They are getting each one for more information. You get more about us. You can visit about us on the website. You can visit us on telephone and the emails.